All right, YouTube, we're here for the third league of the night. We started out 3-2, then went 4-1. So now it only makes sense that we 5-0. Like, that's just math. Literally only makes sense. You can put on your shadow for extra value. Is this just what you do on Band Skull Flat? Do you just like clamp? Do you just come into every single Twitch chat that you can find and then like just vouch for one of the most egregious decks of all time cards of all time? <clears throat> oh, I don't really like this hand. I really don't like this hand. This hand just says too much removal. Like we're, even if we're playing against a creature deck, this hand isn't even that good because we're gonna probably have to take like 42 damage off of these dismembers. We don't have a death shadow. This is tradition. Why isn't Bottle played in every single deck? Because people don't get it. I'm gonna I'm gonna mulligan. This hand's much better. Are we playing against Infect? We're playing against Infect. Our first hand was sick. Oh, no, we're not playing against Infect. Playing against Titan Shift. Our deck is very good against Titan Shift. But we appear to have a pretty slow draw here. I think my opponent knows who I am. My opponent says we played each other in person. Okay. So let's go get... Probably steam vents. Are there victory? Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> it's always nice when you play a, a good opponent here. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I always keep thought season so I have enough mana to cast something scary. I always, oh, you always keep it? No, I think you have to stop their development. Um, we don't want this. We're going to keep Street Wraith because it enables Death Shadow, and it's just, like, putting it on the bottom is the exact same thing as keeping it on top. <clears throat> Stubborn Denial is not very good without a land. Or it's not very good without a, without a big boy. The huge boy. The old Rug Escape Shift. Escape ship from abandoned times. Oh, we're getting nasty. We've got a lightning bolt, so we should probably like try to mind our P's and Q's a little bit. So let's delve and let's leave this thought season there. <clears throat> I am gonna bolt my opponent at the end of their turn, probably. Or end of our turn. Though that might be loose. We have enough mana here. Whoa. Oh, I've seen this card. So 
they have bolt, is it charm, and then whatever they put in their hand. This is like impulse, but better. You put them on the bottom. Impulse, but better if you have tribal, which he didn't have. So it's actually worse than impulse. So they have that. They have a lot of spells. I don't really want to run. I, I should have bolted them because I don't really want to run this. Um, I should have bolted them because uh, I don't want to. I want to be able to like fight over this. Is it charmed at the end of their turn? But they might just be doing draw two, discard two. Okay. I don't want to be stuck on mana like in my man fa main phase, which I am now. So I discard bolt and. Search. I don't know any of their cards. So, bolt you. Cycle Street Wraith. And then we probably can just pass, because if they fetch, we just snap bolt them. Oh, that stubborn denial is a pretty good draw, too. So, yeah, now we just pass. If they crack a fetch, we snap bolt them. If they try to do something, then we stub it. So I think we're in good shape here. It's looking good. Looking like we're going to start this league out on the right foot. It looks like they got mana screwed though, which kind of sucks. Cinderblade's not bad. It means they can cast Titan. But they can't, like, cast Titan and kill my Gurman Angler, so the Snapcaster Mage will do it. Scape Shift. What does this do? What does Scape Shift. I don't understand. I feel like I should counter this. But even if he sacks six lands, he already played a land for his turn. So this doesn't actually do anything. This doesn't kill me. No, because they come into play tapped. Yeah, so we just say okay. Well, this doesn't do anything. He doesn't have Prismatic Omen. Okay, so they just scooped it up. Okay. Oh, they miscounted. <laughs> yeah, they just miscounted how many lands they had. That sucks. All right, so we want... These and these. We don't want Fatal Push, and we can board out one Lightning Bolt. So we'll go like this. That's unfortunate. Do, 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 do. So how's the chat doing tonight? How is everybody? I appreciate everybody hanging out here. This stream has been pretty awesome. Like pretty much for most of the stream, I've been up over 100 viewers, which is pretty damn dece, if you ask me. Oh, uh, they have to mulligan this hand. We still have enough interaction. Like this is good for turning on quick shadows, but we don't like have a counter spell or discard spell. This hand's awful. 
I'm going to mulligan again. This hand's great. The best hand I've had in the whole match. Uh, <clears throat> put this in the bottom. We just want lands. We basically need a land, then we can play Death Shadow. So what did they do? They put they put a card on top. So let's see what they put on top. Put a land. Okay, so we're gonna thought seize. I could have also like bobbled myself there and then gone with like try to stub their play. Alright, so we're just gonna take Steve. I'm glad we didn't do that because we couldn't deal with Steve. Old Stevie Wonder. Land. No lands. Oh, we get this boy in play. It's gonna be tough to get this Death Shadow in play. I guess we're gonna be able to do it. They can't even. They're not even close to casting Crypt Command. Wow, dude. I mean, this guy's a nice guy, but like, man, if you're if you're sitting there, like, you gotta make some serious life decisions to be the Crypt Command Overgrown Tomb Stomping Ground guy. Like, you really have to want it. Okay, we're just going to get nasty. Like, like, you wake up in the morning and you are just made of something special. <laughs> I'm going to wake up this morning and I'm going to put Overgrown Tomb and Stomping Ground in my Cryptic Command deck. There's a definition of not giving a shit. Oh, man. Now they're going to bounce my bounce my Gurmag Angler. Ooh, they're not going to bounce the Gurmag Angler. That's no good. I should have just bounced it on their main phase. Now they're just going to get blown out. If you want, if you're playing against Death Shadow, you have to take your take your value where you can get it. Because if they begin to trade mana with you this efficiently, this is when you lose. Yeah, they didn't even like try to cycle it there, so their hands just like infinitely clogged up. My bonus should upkeep cryptic me. We should try that. Nope, they're not going to. And like, we're just not going to do anything. It's so going to hit them for five, and then I'm going to hit them for five. So now we still beat like Stubberman. Or Cryptic Remand, we still beat that. We don't beat, like, Snapcaster. I guess that helps. So let's just... We might as well just take a look. Find out what that last card is. If it's a Remand, then we did something. Stub that. Stub that. And we got him. All right, next round. Those are the kind of decks you beat up on. You beat up on those decks that are like trying to, you know, do synergistic things or combo decks. Like basically, Death Shadow has like three parts of its deck. It's got discard spells, removal spells, and counter spells. And if two of the three of those are good at all times, then you have a really good matchup.
there are some matchups where some of them are very good. Those are the tough the ones that are hard. Like, discard spells aren't great against humans. Counter spells are bad against humans. Removal is good against humans, but there's only one that's good. Therefore, we struggle. This guy usually plays Dredge, if I remember right. I would assume he's probably playing the Bridgevine deck. He's just playing just Dredge, okay. So we're going to Thought Seize because we might hit like a Cathartic or something explosive. <coughs> we did hit a car Cathartic, which counts as something explosive. Huh, so we actually can't even run our Death Shadow out because it'll just get... Um, it'll get Dark Blasted, which is kind of cool. So then here comes this. Well, our Ley Line should be decent. Oh, that's interesting. So let's see if we can play a little game here. Dredge is tough. <clears throat> you gonna play Stinkweed Imp or you gonna try a Dark Blast? Dismember the Amalgam. It's not really card advantage. Because, like, this just comes back. So now we just want a second body. Second body or a battle range. That was neither. Okay, so there's a second body. Okay. All right, we want this gone, this gone, this gone. Get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. <clears throat> and we will pass. I was going to Shriek Horn? No. So we dredge back their imp. So they've got two imps in their hand. They hit that, so Narcomiba comes back. And then prize them. one prize amount comes back. Oh, it's going to flashback looting. Wow, this is kind of dangerous. We have a lot of conflags. We ditch their imps. Hold up. Fetch shock. Oh, I need a little bit more to get them. Because I need to go to I need to, if I can go to one I can kill him. All right, that doesn't do it. Bolt, tech, tech. We take one. They find stink weed in. That's kind of risky. No, 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 I'm so... He's going to block. Let's cycle. This gives us more outs. That doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, yeah, it does. 
because we go to 1, this is 12, yeah. Booyah! Wow, picking up game one against Dredge is big. Yes! That is big. Winning game one against Dredge. We had a lot of looks at it, but we did get fortunate there. So these come in, and this comes in. Um, I'm going to go with Snapcaster Mage isn't great. I actually don't mind Stubborn Denial. I don't really like Fatal Push. We'll try this. I'm going to leave Gurmag Anglers in until they show me they have um, Ley Lines. I like Stub because sometimes you can like stall them on loam enough to get them going or you can counter like a con flag. I agree, uh, Creature the Hound. I think that that was loose. I think I was just playing with fire. And they got burned. So they're going to have dredge hate. Like, they're 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 probably going to have anti-hate, I mean. Like, they're going to have something like Nature's Claim, probably. Or Maelstrom Pulse. I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. It doesn't produce a really fast threat. We can't play Angler on two. This hand's pretty good because it's got Battle Rage. I'll put this on the bottom. But we can play Shadow on two with a Battle Rage. So, I am a fan. It does suck to not have a looting, but are not have a Ley Line. Treehorn. Whoa, baby. God, my heart just gets pumping every time I every time I get a Death Shadow. It's just like, because it just does so much. Like, it's such a potent threat. Great hits. And we just had to cast that regardless. Okay, so they milled over a Lightning Axe, which is good. Another Shriek Horn. And they played probably Blood Crypt Tapped. And then we just go Double Shadow. Next turn we just dig for a way to deal ourselves damage. This is what I was talking about, where like there's like a top echelon of modern, and I think that Death Shadow is like arguably in there because you just have like that high and powerful of draws. Like you just operate on a much different level than most other decks do. It is pretty unfortunate our opponent has not found a con flag yet. That would wreck us. Didn't think about that one. So here comes the army. Let me flashback looting. So we're going to get back more amalgams. We still might lose this. Eight, twelve. It's just not quite enough. They're just going to get so much meat on the battlefield next turn. So how do I 
So you can bring back a blood gas next turn. So and another amalgam's coming back. So they're gonna have nine eleven. They're gonna have nine eleven. They're gonna have nine thirteen power on the board. So I have to block one of them. If I go down to nine. If I go down to nine, then I'll need block this, take ten, we're dead. Let's see my top card is Thought Scour. I don't really want a Thought Scour, but I don't really know what I'm looking for. Like Thought Scour is probably fine to go end of turn. Yeah, I think we're just going to play defense here. Yeah. I probably could have attacked with one of my creatures. That probably would have been good. Okay, so they hit a con flag. They probably could have gotten in for one point. I'm not sure how much one point is going to matter, but I am going to feel stupid if it does. My opponent gets cute with con flag. It's not going to work out very well. Though they might just be able to con flag me. They loam down to three, then up to six. Con flag, they make a land drop. Con flag me for five. I'm at seven. Block, block. The blood gas come back and they kill me. At least I think. Wow, he didn't bring him back. Okay. So almost certainly. Yeah, I mean that wouldn't work out very well, right? Because I would just fetch. I most certainly have to try to kill them now. Right on time. Okay, that's probably going to do it. That's not. We have to attack, though. Yeah, we're there's no way out of this. Dismember, dismember this goes to eight. Eight battle rage is sixteen. Yep. Yeah. No way out of that. In response to the fetch, isn't it a sorcery? Conflict conflag's a sorcery, right? If that swap was a fetch, we'd have been good. But it was not. We're going to submit. The one point did matter, yeah. Yeah, that one point did matter. They still could have killed me last turn, right? Like, if I had nothing, and that's what, that's what it comes down to. Because they could have just conflagged me and then gotten enough blockers to kill me, even through both my shadows. But he obviously didn't go for it. All right, Heater. We're going to cycle Street Wraith on one to find something to do. Yeah, because he puts me to like five, and then he's got nine power of hasty dudes. He then has 18. I'm at nine. He's got 18 power on the board, and I can only stop six. Now, he has to go for it, which, you know, if, if, like if he goes for it and gets stubbed, then, like, that feels pretty awful. So 
I'm going to fetch anyways because I'm going to use my mana no matter what. They just scoop to the ley line. Get it? Got it? Good. What a powerful magic card. What a powerful magic card that is. All right, we're 40% away to the 5 0. I'm going to go grab some more water. Modern is a great and interactive. <laughs> Love modern. All right, we're going to start this right now, though. So I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. We've got something like 140 of you guys in there. I'm, I'm glad you're all here hanging out with me. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. I appreciate it. It allows you know more people to see what I'm doing. You should check me out on YouTube. That's linked below. I always archive all of my streams. I play a lot of modern. Play a lot of play a lot of modern. Play some legacy. Play some standard. Occasionally play some other stuff. Um, if you're on YouTube, you should come over to my Twitch channel and check that out. Gamer Craze is where I learned to play Magic. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. They're a great store in upstate New York. And Card Hoarder is the best Magic Online bot chain in the business. They are great for all of your Magic Online needs. They sponsor a team. They had a podcast which ended today, which was sad, but. They're just a great store, and they, they make a lot of streamers. They make my streaming my streaming possible. So let's get back to this. I'm going to ship this hand. This hand's no good. MTG bots right there with me, right on cue. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this. This is not very good. Kind of land. This hand doesn't really beat anything, so I probably should have all again. Yeah, we're playing against humans. All right, let's try to figure this out. Let's check out our top card. Thought sees. We need a thought sees like a reflector mage, I think. And fun hubby to go to SCG Vegas. I think we're just looking for Death Shadows at this point. We're looking for Death Shadows and Battle Rages, not Stubborn Denials. We've mulliganed to four, basically. Dahlia, okay. All right, well, that's something. All funds from this stream go towards making my dog fat. They don't keep him cute and fat, unfortunately, Farby. That's been that role has already been taken. So we're just gonna bolt this Thalia. <clears throat> bolt this. We let this resolve. He does whatever he wants. And I'm a relative, relatively tame draw from our opponent. Incoming values in time. No longer tame. Oh, they name bolt. Yeah, we're just we're gonna scoop it up. Okay. So we're going to bring in our Battle Rage. We're going to cut these Stubborn Denials. We're going to bring in our Battle Rage, a Braid, this and this. And we're going to cut... I think we're just going to try to keep all the Delve Threats in. Like if this is the way, we're not boarding, controlling like... Um, I think it was just important to keep all the Delve cards in. I'm going to cut one Street Wraith. We're just going to try this. I don't know if this is right or not, but I think I think with this list, 
is like this is the plan of how it's got to go, I think. All right, let's play first. We're good. All right. Again, I'm going to hold this fetch land, this street wraith, until it can do something productive. Okay. All right, we're going to snap off this ether vial and hope this greedy bastard doesn't get there. <clears throat> Unclaimed territory. My post has ripped me. All right, now we're going to cycle because we would like to find a way to get our shadow in play, and fortunately, we didn't. Yeah, we did. God, I just want to bolt myself so bad. I do. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Because, like, I want to just finish this game. And then it's going to, like, get me closer to playing Gurmag Angler next turn. And I can just snap it back. God, they hit. What a bastard. All right, well, we can play this Gurmag Angler now. Oh, they're just going to image my angler. No, they, they said they did human-human. Nice. Just going to crash in here with this guy. Play this. All right, here comes the bugle boy. Maybe not. Should play Thalia's Lieutenant. That makes sense. It's the biggest thing on the board. Now this Thalia's Guardian Thraben is almost big enough to block this angler. Fetch land would be sick. Bobble, not sick. We're going to land, okay. We don't really care if they attack me here. Hopefully we draw a dismember. That would be pretty sweet. We do a bobble. Gross. Bobble's so gross. Skirmag Angler is chewing through this. Oh, they didn't play their Bugler. They didn't play their Phantasmal Image. They playing Clactic Company? They've got to be playing Clactic Company. That's the only thing that makes sense. Resto? What does Resto do? Resto makes, eats my, the Thalia eats my Gurmag Angler, so we're going to pass. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me bounce this boy. Nailed it. Yep. All right, engineer explosives doesn't really do a lot. Let's me kill two drops, so kind of does something.
If I draw a land, I can just kill the two drops next turn. We're gonna start bugling. Don't reflect your mage moon. Okay. Another Thalia's Lieutenant. Alright, we need land. Come on. <clears throat> I mean, we still probably just play it. I think this is how this works. Or do I have to do it three different colors? Because X is currently one. How does this work? This is how this works. Okay. So we have to not die. Now they're just going to copy Bugler, copy Resto, which is still pretty good. God, we really got fetch land from just wrecking this game a couple turns ago. That makes sense. It's a Mantis Rider? Yeah, it is. Okay. Copy Mantis Rider. Yep, they got it. Block. Block. Yep, they've got it. Oh, man, we just needed another land. Kind of at any point. If we could just be able to make our shadows larger than three threes, we would have just been able to, like... Yeah, if we just be able to get the shadows bigger than three threes, we'd be in good shape. I spoke too hastily. Wow, dude, my tip cup's almost full. I don't even think I've had my tip cup this full before. Bobble was very sad there. <coughs> Bobble was super sad. <coughs> I think bolting our face was what did it. Having bolt would have been great. Well... No, it wouldn't have been, right, Canyon Minotaur? Because, like, our shadows um, never would have been able to attack, get in play. We would have been at 13, right? The bolt was aggressive, yeah. Because, like, I was trying to kill them. If I get this shadow in play and they, like, miss, then I'm good. No, because they would have had the chance to get in for chip damage. Maybe. Maybe. Because like they could have easily just not been attacking, right? Um, this hand's okay. I'm just gonna thought seize on one. Our shadows are like two twos, right? At that point, you're definitely being aggressive. Okay, so we're playing against John. John. All right, we're just gonna take Bob. Neither of us is gonna have anything here pretty soon. I'm like XO. You're probably XO against a lot of 
players that play Death Shadow. I don't know how I don't know how to deal with that matchup. They only have one land. What a greedy how can you keep Oh my god. I probably want to fire this street wraith off. I would, I would rather just have another card. Because if this is a land, I'm going to want it. Yeah, Boring Lava Man. That was the plan beforehand. Gas. So I think they only have one land. We stub this. And hopefully we hit another land and I can go like snap thought sees them. And then we have like something in play, which is just another two for one. Probably should go to Steam Vents. Steam Vents probably was the right thing to do there. I need to mine my life total quite a bit. Definitely should have a steam vents with this land. So now I can go get a steam vents. Go to five. Do we have an Inquisition or just Thought Seizes? We just have Thought Seizes. All right, I'm just going to pass. Get a tap land. <clears throat> I thought your Jasmine was Collective Brutality. What well, good thinking got you? Whew. Oh, that's so bad. All right, well, now we're going to go get an island and snap Thought Scour ourselves. This thing is so huge. I'm definitely getting punished for not getting a uh, whatever it is. For not getting um, Steam Vents. <clears throat> Battle Rage. All right, Gurmag Angler is the hero we need. I just figure out how to not die. Because when we play Gurmag Angler, we're stubborn denial out. Yeah, it happens. I'm just going to block this Tarmogoyf and then try and dismember it after combat. After the Snapcaster Mage deals the damage. Oh, this feels so bad.
Kermy right. should be able to help. So what does he have? He's got creature. He, he, he's got his Tarmor Wife at a 4-5. So we just need to mill over our artifacts. All right, we got a new big boy. <clears throat> then we stub the Maelstrom Holes. And then we dismember this Goyf. And we hope everything's good. Hopefully this isn't like a Terminate. <clears throat> To terminate. Now oh, they're gonna bolt me. Okay. All right. That's. They're gonna try to go bolt into poles. Kill me. You gotta do it. And then we did. Now we dismember this Tarmogoyf. And we get in. Oh, shoot. The Tarmogoyf grows. Oh, God. That grows to Goyf. That was so perfect. I had to dismember the Tarmogoyf right there and let that resolve. Yeah, I messed that up. What, the first mistake I made was not getting a serum vision, not getting a steam vents on, on turn one. On turn two. The second land I get should have been a steam vents. I got should have been a steam vents. So that overall was the big mistake that was made. Yes, you are right there. Hopefully we can turn this around. Win two games on the board. Hopefully they don't lay line me. <clears throat> Sorry, I lose my voice. Been up for four hours and 14 minutes. It's been a good time. Good amount of time to play some fair magic. I would agree. Graveyard Hate is very good at the moment. We're going to see what kind of hate they have. We're going to hope that they don't have Ley Line. I guess Leyline spikes today. It's like 60 bucks a pop now. All right, I would like to play first. Yes. This hand's medium, but I don't I don't like mulliganing against this deck. And this hand's like this is reasonable. They mull. I'm going to just serum visions. Because even if he takes a card from me, it doesn't really matter because we have Gurmag Angler. They just put a Ley Line in play. That's going to be tough. Okay. Because I don't even care really about stubbing a discard spell because they're just going to take something that... They're going to take Gurmag Angler, which enables the second Gurmag Angler. So don't, I, don't know, I don't really care about cards if cards are in my graveyard. I think we want both of these. We can't. We're going to be we're like, we're going to probably not. I should have stacked that differently. So I got the dismember first. But like now, now this is going to turn on my angler. Because I can thought scour now and then play it. I mill over the dismember, which kind of sucks. But it's at least a guaranteed angler. Like, we are getting nasty. And he doesn't have a lot of two mana ways to deal with that. We milled over Akira, which is worth noting. It is one of our better cards. Oh, 
Oh, he knows I have a color on his command. I guess it's just screams Liliana. But like, I've got to deal with this Bob, I guess. Because he knew about that and he just ran it in there. So we're definitely getting Liliana in here. Or he's got two bobs. No. Tilt. How do you ever beat Lily? We just flash in the Snapcaster. Like, hope he doesn't play a creature. Okay. He played a creature. Um. Okay. Okay, so now we just flash in. We flash in the Snapcaster Mage. And now we make him trade between Bob and Lily. Then hopefully we rip a land. And then we can, like, he just lets me kill this Liliana. Then we can go, like, land EE, -E, get rid of everything. All right, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, so now we just go E for three. Blue, black, red. <clears throat> Man, that was loose not keeping stub up. I think it was better to, like, I, I know that, like, I don't want him to activate Bob. I get a two for one. My opponent got a two for one. So now we're at parity, basically. Crack this. Play Shadow. We're in good shape now. Really good shape. So, yeah, we're just crashing. Smack in there for six. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But, like, no, I don't, I don't, I would rather, you can't let him have Bob activations, though, because Bob finds more Liliana's. You know, like I had a plan for the Liliana with the Snapcaster Mage. Okay, there's the big man. It's a big boy. Land there wouldn't have been bad. Yeah, but he didn't have a lot to start with, right? And the Liliana leads to each player having nothing, right? Like Liliana is a is a parody. So I'm, I'm not blocking if they attack. Or flash in the Snapcaster Mage. Okay. 
Okay. So now I attack. Because my opponent has to chump. They probably chump with the ravine. And then we hope that Snapcaster Mage plus Stubborn Denial gets us out of this. Oh shit, he can just attack me with both of them. God, he just double block. Oh man, I'm, I'm out of it. Alright, let's get rid of this Tarmogoyf. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I guess I've been going for about four and a half hours, so I am getting a little tired. So now I take four from this. And then I'm like drawing pretty thin because I can no longer draw a fetch land to snap K command back. Yeah, I punted this away. I need this Snapcaster Mage to like, do something, I think. So I think we're just going to go to one. I should have just played it and held. That's what I should have done. I should have just not attacked my shadow and I would have won this game. Like going away. Well, that was not bad. That was not bad. That was not bad. I'm not very happy. I played both these games pretty poorly. Hopefully they go land Tarmogoyf. Just land Goyf. Come on. Land. Okay, that's dead. Yeah, I was just like, ugh. It's not good. It's the last league of the night. So we got here. Oh, God. That's just vomit inducing. All right, so he likes his last card, which is worth noting. So let's get rid of his last card. Dread War. <clears throat> so we do get Gurmag Angler down next turn. With Snap Stub up. You go to three boy? Okay. God, he ripped a Blood Raid Elf. No, Leyland of the Void. Okay, that's all right. That's good to know for the next round, though. All right, so now we're going to play Gurmag Angler. Get rid of this Engineered Explosive so those Timer Boys are smaller. You know, he's got, like, a huge Timer Life on his own end. So uh, we can get rid of this Thought Seize and this one, and then probably Gurmag Angler, because we already have one in play. So we're going to flash in our Snapcaster Mage, target Stub in response to the Edict.
I guess I actually target push. What's better, stub or push? Probably he's more likely to draw something. Like the fact that he's not. I'm going to go with push. I think I'm going to go with push. Why not? Because, like, he's dead if he doesn't have anything, right? I need to. I thought you said no need to. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, there's more. They just play better games. Okay, we're good because now, because we have Revolt. Got him. All right. Okay, so now we need to sideboard differently because we know they have ley lines. So I kind of want more street raids in my deck. And I, I just have got to stay easy with my life total because, like, street raids is a very legitimate, like, card to cast. So, like, I'm probably going to cut this, cut this, bring in at least two more of these. Probably cut this and play Tassiger just because Tassiger is going to be easier to cast. I'm going to have one. Yeah, we're going to go like this. Whew. I'm going to get a drink. That was intense. All right, we're going to keep this. Is that a light line? Tilt. EE -E and stub and discard, that's the plan. <clears throat> that is the plan. All right, let's get our red source. So we've got Bob covered. This is a really loose hand from our opponent. So like, if we can find a Death Shadow quickly, then we should be good. Just start playing Shadow videos, great content. Thank you very much, um, Adelphia. Adelphia. Yeah, if you guys are big YouTube people, you should go check that out. Man, what a tilt. What can I hit off this? I could hit a discard spell, which I'd be in the market for. We're gonna have to scrap this game out. Just not realistic to be able to cast this right now, so we're just gonna cycle it. Okay. Bolt Bob. Turn off auto yields. Why not keep stuff up? Because I knew he had Bob and I can tripped. Okay, let's fetch basic swamp, take two life, and then take care of this Tommy boy. Oh, we, we mill over our swamp. Probably should be paying attention to this. We did. So then let's just get this tapped. And then we'll just untap.
Let's go like this and then pass. Yeah. Which member? Dismember. All right, we'll EE that one. Red, black. <laughs> Glad you appreciated it. We're going to hit this. I mean, find a Death Shadow, man. We haven't seen one, and we're about we're a bunch of cards into our deck. So, one would be nice. Yeah, these Blood Red Elves are about to start coming, about to start raining down. At least our opponent's got a blank in their hand. I get this Snapcaster in the play soon. They're going to bolt me. All right. So we know their hand. Okay. So here come the elves. Uh. This is all so bad. I think we're just going to ambush Viper this thing. Oh, where are all the Death Shadows? Flash it in. All right, so what can he do? He can eat three creatures, which is dead. Yep. Man, the ley line got us. Let's go back from testing in time to see where you stream. Nice, Dr. Swappy. Nice. We're in the last game. Hopefully we can get our, our pretty chest. It's been a good stream. It's been a pretty good stream. Hopefully we'll get the last one. I'm starting to think that this Tassiger is no good because if everyone's wise to this graveyard hate, I might not want, I might have to find some threat that doesn't deal with the graveyard. Yeah. So maybe I need Pyromancers on the board. Because like Pyromancer is the best threat if if everybody's gonna be hating on the graveyard so hard. Uh we're gonna keep his hand to turn two Gurmag Angler. Our opponent mulliganed. So <clears throat> hey nameless, how you doing? So we're going all right. We went three two in the first league, four one in the second league, and now we're playing for the three two in this league. I just got ley lined out of Jund. Okay, so we're playing against Affinity. My hand is very bad against Affinity. Nope, no good. Okay. Yeah, I got a big host from Jeff Hoogland earlier today. 
I was up till I think actually left. I think I had like three. I had like three or four hundred people here for a while, but it just slowly goes down because people have other stuff to do, which is legit. Jeff and O, huh? I'm only here because I beat you one time. I can respect that. Nice. All right, let's go get... I don't think I even want this Snapcaster Mage. I think I'm just going to get an island and pass. I should. That's poor sequencing from me. Yeah, that was poor. I should have gotten a black land because now I can't kill something. Getting a little tired. But I beat Hubby a lot of times, but recently. <laughs> Nameless, I'm fairly certain I'm the only one in the modern format that beats you. We're going to get Edge Championed. All right. All righty. You and Selvzik. I'm honored to be in such high of... Such high regards. Okay, so we're playing magic. What is he still plays Mario Pyromancer, right? So what do I get here? Do I get a blood crypt? Canister's yours. When they hear We got a Galv Blast coming. Okay. <laughs> it's tough. The Mario Pyromancer matchup's hard. It is. I lost to it today. Even even after I had ley lines in one game, I still lost to it. All right, so we have a plan. I think we have a plan though. It's not looking good now. They're going to Gal Blast as their last card. He does. Does he draw better than I do against you? Because I find that to be difficult. Five hundred percent better. <laughs> well, we find Battle Rage. We're in pretty good shape. Loot Rebel Souls. It's just so good. Be great career. Traverse Shadow List takes your Shadow Cabinet and going fast and under cutting other things around as well. Good purpose living. The problem is. If the Traverse Shadow decks is like, you don't have the removal to hang with the Humans decks. I don't know if this deck does either with this version of it, with Ley Lines. You're on the other side of my first Bridgevine screenshot a month ago. Oh, nice. You're just beating up on me. All right, so how do we die? Let's see. They can stack one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four artifacts next turn. So I got five. So I guess I just play this, go get a swamp, and then play two death shadows. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's that, because like, like what are you what are you playing nameless that is very good against blue white? Because, like, I've been just getting outclassed by blue-white with, like, the Liliana draws. Yeah, well, thank you, Cree Keystone. Yeah, I probably wouldn't want to play that long anyways to that. But I don't necessarily think Liliana Last Hope is that great anymore. Okay, so we got to stub this. 
I definitely want to change. We'll talk about it after the league here. I want to change a couple cards for my next one. Yeah, the Traverse deck just doesn't play a consistent enough game to deal with removal. It's very threat dense. Like it's very good at finding threats. Alright, come on. Am I dead? No, not even close. It is super weak to Graveyard 8. Graveyard 8 is, is on the way up right now. Alright, I need a Battle Rage. Bad. Battle Rage. Come on. Right here. Oh, nope. Um, yeah, we're just going for it. We are going for it. Shoot. Alright, turn them sideways. Maybe they make a mistake. Fuck TV. Never shows up when you need it. What the hell are you playing that's good against UW Desk? I just get stomped by both lately. <laughs> Alright, I got it. We're not going to make them go through the motions here. Alright, so we get to Affinity. Oh man, my energy is draining. Whew, I'm tired. Okay, so we want this, 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 and these. I don't want Stubborn Denial. I can cut a thought sees and two street wraiths. Bridge vine beats those deck, yes. No one can beat Terminus on top. Goddamn Terminus. Look at that, my cup's almost full. It's a full almost a full cup. Oh, this hand's like not that good. I think I've got a mulligan here. You know, I have a cake in me. I don't know. We get bobble. I'm going to keep this hand. Whatever. I'm going to keep it. It's like one of those you keep it, but you're not you're not happy about it. Yeah. Like if, if we if we bobble into this death shadow, then I'll be super excited. As a U Dub player, I keep. You better get out of this chat, you U Dub playing bastard. I don't even. I guess I want that land. It's gonna turn on K Command. U Dub player, no. <laughs> we can't beat him. Yeah. I'd love it. I'd love stubbing things like that. Like when they when they do that greedy shit. I just love using stubborn denial very aggressively. I donated a win to, to a last GDS player I faced. I appreciate it. You giving them out to our kind. Oh baby. Let me tell you about my boy, Gurmag Angler. We're going to mill over a Battle Rage, unfortunately. So now I can't complain when I find them. Donate for me next. <laughs> we need all the help we can get. Why don't you going to slam a Karn right here? No, that's not good. Karn conceded. Oh, they thought seized me. So you obviously take my Colgan's command. E for seven to kill Angler. All right, takes my K command. I think I'm probably going to just E on two. 
I don't really want either of these. Blue, black. Because they're going to attack me for like five points next turn, six points. Except no five. Keystone 27. Yeah, I, I recognize that name. I recognize your name. Mort Tezal, Rut Row. Oh, we can beat this. We can beat this. Still gonna get like this is what we gotta worry about. This thing pumps other ones, right? So now they're just stacking this thing over. Where are they stacking? They're stacking it on the no, they're stacking it on this. Yeah, we're in trouble now. Okay, so it still gets dismembered. Which is pretty great. It even gets dismembered through the Blink Moth activation. Oh my god. We're so good. I thought Vlad did a close up turn. He did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they did the E activation for us. What a guy. I'm going to dismember paying like all the life. Then flash in this snap, Dad. Get the beats. Beats by snap. Dude, what if they drew like a stubborn denial? If they drew a stubborn denial, I'm going to puke. Which member? Dismember. God, I love bad jokes. Come on. They scoop it up. All right. We got him. Last match. The Titanic last match of game five for the pity chest. Is he? Is your hero going to do it? Is he not going to do it? Find out on the next episode of Dylan's Stream. Just in time to hear that one. How you doing, Tom? You're still in New York City? Tom, your Twitch Prime subscription has run out. I just want to let you know. And there's a streamer that would always appreciate your Twitch Prime. <laughs> My hand's not great. I think I'm going to mulligan on the draw. A lot of damage. I need to look at a lot of cards. No stop. Grixis Death Shell. That's me. Oh, you gave it to Johnny. I see how it is. I see how it is. We're going to keep this. Whatever. Ugh. Got all the rates. I usually do. The, those sideboards change, so I don't know what I'm going to do 
this weekend or not. I don't even know if I had like a local PTQ if I should have all this graveyard hate. Those, though, that's that usually works out pretty well. Those spreading seizes, seize, seize eyes, Caesars salads. God, I've been going for five hours. I'm exhausted. <clears throat> I leave in seize also. You have the cards we like doing. Yep, most of them. Magic is expensive. Yep, that is a sad part about magic. Oh, Tom, I picked up another Pluto Delta, so I can give you back one. Memnite? What a powerful magic card. One of these does not look like the other. All right. We're looking good. We're pretty much going to look for a board. Like, we're going to get rid of anything that's not a Death Shadow at this point. Finally. I still need one of them. God, dude, my opponent is definitely taking their time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to take a lot of damage to get nasty in play. <laughs> but it's a clock. No, we are. Oh, shit. I just grabbed the wrong land. It's all right. We're not going to draw a blue spell. We're good. Right, let's get rid of this only card that matters. I'd like to let the record know that I meant to get a watery grave there. Just not how it all rolled out. We're falling apart. Rakdos Death Shadow. Falling apart. It's the end of the stream. We're losing it. We're so good. Okay, so now I can actually just go get a tapped watery grave. And then still, we can still get nasty. Never, dude. Better lucky than good. Spring leaf drawing. I'm tempted to block. I'm going to eight. Then I'm just taking one. I have to stay above four. If he bolts my this guy. Exactly. If he bolts this guy, then like I do get to draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, I think I'm gonna block, but affinity topping on spring leaf drum gets me all riled up. Yeah. We're gonna leave them with the cool one. But then we do have a million cards versus their like nothing, basically. So Archmage, how you doing? You're all the way down there in Florida? God, they let you out of the north. They let you out of that hellhole, Rochester. All right. Sad state of affairs. Not just in that. I might cast it. Not casting it. Don't gal blast me again, bro. Oh, man.
Dude, I hate how they have a stop in my draw step. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to click me? Six. Yeah, we're going to. Okay, sweet. So five. Seven, seven, three turn clock. I guess we can just wait. Do that next turn. Yeah. I'm literally going to, this stream is so blurry for me. I'm going to go insane during this vacation. <laughs> All right. Battle Rage. Give me the Rage. That's just as good. There's something so therapeutic about battle raging. I wish I could battle rage my, the people I work with sometimes. You know? Like, somebody calls me from our main office. Dylan, you gotta do this. Just like, battle rage him. We got the pity chest. We got the pity chest. So let's go open up. We always open up the last one. 